Hey everyone, it's Nicole. I'm here today with a process video using one of the love letter kits from Close to My Heart. So I received this super fun kit here by Close to My Heart. It has all these fun flowers as well as a large letter. You can create your own wall art design, but I thought um, I wanted to use that large letter in the kit for something different. So I decided to use it for a scrapbook page. So the kit came with a chipboard type of letter as well as this overlay here with the, the foil on the bottom and a ton of flowers. So I just took the paper letter and I'm gonna place that there on my layout. And I've chosen a photo of our family and I'm just going to add some paper behind it from Simple Stories and kind of get going. So the end is kind of the big title for my page. So I want to make sure that I can still maintain that on my layout. And so I'm gonna really keep everything kind of minimal and I'm only gonna use, aside from these uh, little bits of pattern paper, um, this love letter kit, which is really awesome. Every month Close to Me Art has a different kind of kit that they make up. Um, and so this one here was from January. Unfortunately, I don't think it's available anymore, but um, who knows, you might be able to find one out there. Uh, but there are different kits every month and this one is really unique because like I said it's a home decor type of project but you can definitely use it in other ways so I'm gonna grab some bits that are in this kit so there's these really fun banners that you can use to decorate your own love letter um, I decided to use it as part of a kind of a subtitle on my layout and I'm gonna just pop out tons of these flowers so each of the flowers kind of comes in a grouping of together and there's instructions on that one uh, handout that came in the kit as well and I'm just gonna curl this first set of flowers here which is with a pencil just to add a little dimension and then really it's just as simple as layering all the little pieces uh, one by one over top of each other and I'm gonna I started off by thinking I would add foam adhesive between the layers but then that would have been really just way too bulky I think once I put this in a page protector so I'm just using a little bit of um, adhesive and glue dots and I'm just layering it all together and there you go one flower just like that so pretty easy everything's die cut for you all you really have to do is punch it out and layer it together um, I will add some things to the middle of my flowers you can see my big bucket of buttons that I have and I'm just gonna pick ones that are kind of tone on tone matching the color of the buttons um, to the color of the flower so this one is kind of like a cream gray with a little slight polka dot and then I'm going to thread um, my needle here with some crochet floss actually. And I'm going to just sew that right button right onto my flower. I'm gonna do the same thing for all the flowers that I use on this layout. Um, I don't believe you should ever leave a button naked. You should never, ha um, I, I just feel like it's a miss missing final touch on your layout to kind of have those holes there. So whether you cover them up with enamel dots um, or add some stickles, some glitter glue, um, however you want to you know, cover those holes. I love that stitched look, so I, I don't mind taking the extra couple minutes just to hand stitch through those. It adds a nice little finishing touch. So I'm just gonna punch a whole bunch more of flowers here from that sheet, super easy. This one here is like a bit of a succulent type flower. So it just a, looks like little leaves all layered together. And I love this rich green color and what you probably can't tell from the angle of the video is that it's actually a bit of a, um, I want to I don't want to say quite ombre but there is variations of color it's not just a flat green color there's actually some lighter and darker shades so I'm just looking at the instructions here on how I'm supposed to make the middle of this center for the succulent and so I'm just rolling it together and I'm gonna add a glue dot to the bottom and then and another one actually just to get that to stick to the center of the succulent. So super pretty, a tiny little center for a tiny little succulent. And then I'm just gonna fluff up the edges and do a pink flower now. So we have this, this color palette is kind of like a, more of a pink with gray and some really soft greens and that those pretty succulents. And so if you wanted to decorate your letter for your house, you know, it would match pr almost pretty much any home decor, which is really great. And so, I really just thought it would be great on a scrapbook page too. So just really fast. You can see how fast these letter, these sorry, these flowers really come together. Um, again, I'm just adding a little button from my stash. I'm gonna sew those on and then get onto the rest of the page. In this kit, you also get, um, there was a sheet of letter stickers actually. So it's that same foiled, uh, it's different, this, it's different than the others. This is on the foiled letter. 
um, is that gold foil. And in the pack is a foiled letters, but they're a, more of a script font to kind of offset that solid there. So I'm going to use that to kind of do the sub sentiment on my page. I'm going to, I decided I wanted to sew this letter down. So I just added a little bit of sewing with my sewing machine and then I'm going to add a little bit of black mist just so that white background is not so stark white. And then I'll add my photo and then I'm going to get going on layering all those flowers that I've already kind of prepped a little bit earlier. Sorry for the huge glare from my light on my, above my desk. For some reason it was just, I could not get it to go away from where the placement of the photo was so I'm sorry about that but really easy so I'm just adding a foam adhesive to the back of these flowers now and then I'm just kind of sticking them where I'd like them on the page making a little grouping here on the top of oh, the sorry the bottom right corner and then I decided I wanted a smaller flower so I took just a few of the layers from one of the larger pink flowers and I'm curving those together and layering them so you don't have to use all the layers of flowers just because they're there. I'm just going to use some of the smaller layers to create a smaller flower in that pretty pink color. And of course, I'm going to dig through my bucket here, find another button that I think would be great. Um, I seem to have collected a lot of buttons over the years and, oh, you know, you could always seem to find one for the bigger project when you have a huge collection like that. Just tie that off, add some foam adhesive to the back, and then I'm going to add this here onto, right onto my photo actually, just right in that bottom left corner. And then I, there's also some leaves. So these are like a, more of that floral print. I'm going to add some of those. They're like a larger sprig. And then I decided to cut down one of the succulent flowers in half and make those into leaves for just some extra green on the page because I was adding quite a bit of foil but I wanted to add a little bit more green as well. So I have cut those in half and I'm just using a glue dot to stick them together and then just kind of stick them underneath my floral grouping just to kind of build a bit of the layers really, really easy. So it's very easy to take something and make it into something else just with the little clip of your scissors. And so I'm just gonna do that and add these in amongst my flowers just to add some leaves. I didn't feel I could add um, many more of the flowers, so I have tons left over for another project for sure. And so you can see I'm just tucking in some of the smaller items now that I have the three uh, leaves in place in and around my photos with just with some glue dots. And just a little bit of primping. So that's kind of the main portion of the page. Now all, all I really have left to do is kind of do a few little bit more embellishing and, and finish it off. Those flowers are pretty big, so I don't want to add a lot um, other large items to the page because you know, got to have some bit of a balance where um, you have your larger items and then you work smaller. So I'm just going to get rid of some glue I had on my page there. And now I'm just kind of digging around trying to figure out what else I want to add. So I know I want to add something onto that banner underneath my photo. So here's those foiled letters I was talking about. And I'm going to use my alignment guide here from We Are Memory Keepers. American Crafts just to line up the la our last name on there. So I'm going to line it up on one of the grids on the alignment guide. Super easy to get those letters straight, especially in a scripty font like this. You want to make sure that all is visually pleasing. And so this letter um, alignment guide really helps with that. So again, there's a little bit of a glare from the shine of the foil that's hard to get rid of, but you can see it kind of there. You can place it on and then push it down and then lift it up and your letters for the most part are in place. Really easy to do. And there's some really great curved ones in there as well. So you, if you wanna add some curved uh, sections to your titles to your layout, really fun and easy to do. So I have my title on there kind of, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of stamping. So I have some close to my heart inks and a few different greens. I wanted to add a little more, more green to this project. And I'm just trying to find some stamps here that I have in my collection that would go. So I have these ink splotch stamps here. These are from Close to My Heart, and I'm just gonna use a lighter shade of green just to add a little bit more in around that photo area, kind of to stretch out to meet the balance of the large letter, just so it's not so large on one side and small on the other side. So stamps are a really great way to kind of um, embellish your page. So I'm gonna just use a couple different pieces of green for that. And so that filled in really nice and fast and easy. I have some sentiment stamps here from my stash. And then I decided I wanted to add this pretty floral stamp. I used it in a video a few months ago on some cards. And so I'm using a green ink and just a scrap piece of paper over top of my letter. 
And then I'm going to just ink that up and I'm going to stamp in that empty area kind of to make branches. And you can see I kind of made an oopsie there and I will do the same thing will happen here actually because I can't pull my photo up. I really should have planned this earlier. Um, so I'm just stamping over top and I didn't get the whole pressure of the stamp the way it probably should be. But that's just an embellishment opportunity, right? So I'm just going to later on uh, kind of fill that in with other items, which you will see. So I got some stamps in there as a nice layering touch. I got some, I put some ink splots on there as you've seen. And I'm just looking here if I want to add anything else. So I decided to grab some more um, pattern paper and I'm going to just punch a little label and tuck that in. That covers that top stamped image a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a second punch just to add some pink to the top corner. So we have a bit of a triangle on the layout for pink. And then I grabbed one of the flowers again and I just grabbed three of the little layers this time just to make a really a much smaller flower. And so that I'm going to put over that second kind of area where I messed up with the stamping. And so that's going to cover that bottom stamped image here right on, on the edge of the letter. So you'll never know that it was there. So there's a close up of all the little bundles of flowers and pretty bits on this page. A really fun project. Thanks to Close to My Heart for sending me this letter. Um, it's really, really fun. So I hope you, if you don't have this project kit, that you'll grab another one of theirs. They have some really great ideas and uh, give them a try. Mm -hmm.